Hello YouTube! So I had a few moments and I had some thoughts rattling around. I wanted to talk for just a minute about the concept of order. And a lot of things have happened just in the past few weeks. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I've been a champion of free speech. My mentality is that free speech, more than anything, includes speech that you don't want to hear. It includes all speech. There is no such thing as hate speech. And so on the topic of order, you know, Owen Benjamin made a really poignant case for order. He's a classical pianist and he was playing a, a classical piece of music and he was talking about the symmetry of it. He was talking about the order of it and why so many people and for so long classical music and classical art has maintained its appeal throughout centuries and centuries and centuries. Societies may change in certain ways, but the foundation that that reverence for order and when I talk about order I'm not just talking about necessarily symmetry or logic I'm talking about the bedrock I'm talking about God I'm talking about the the word I'm talking about morality all of these things we live inside a system that demands, even in nature, demands order. And when you have a culture that comes along and pokes at the boundaries of that order, it's kind of like a game of chess. You have a chess board and there are a near infinite amount of numbers of, of moves or games that can be played within the confines of that board, but you don't get to break the rules of the game. And when people are angry, you know, it, at the culture or they're angry about, you know, transgenderism or gender rules not just being completely Ab able to be ab obliterated. It's like, you don't get to come along. And this is a very conservative idea. And I think this is a very, at the core, American idea. You don't get to come along and smash the order of the game. Because when you do, the Bible says, for the wages of sin, our death, period. And so now we have a culture that says it's to completely morally relativistic. That's what Hollywood is. That's what these coastal elites are. They want to be able to exist with no foundation, with no foundation of morality. They want to say that men are women and women are men and make no mistake, they hate you. I've said this over and over and over again. Perfect example, Bill Maher recently went on a tirade on his show about middle America, about you, about me, saying that they have, they, the elites, have museums and symposiums and they have wolf you know uh all these chefs and and we have chef boyardee i mean the the level of disdain and animosity dripping from this little monologue i'm not shocked that that he said it i'm not because i know that's how they think I know that's what they believe. They believe that women should be able to murder babies after they're born. 
the Senate, the House, the Democrats voted against a bill this week that would stop infanticide after a botched abortion. That is what they want. Nothing is sacred anymore, nothing. This week, Tommy Robinson released a documentary attempting to expose the BBC, which he did quite, quite spectacularly, by the way. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. And within 24 hours was deplatformed from Facebook as well as Instagram. If you wait, Oh, another thing that happened. Steven Crowder, another outside, you know, I don't even call it new media anymore. These voices in the darkness, people like Gavin McInnes, Steven Crowder, Tommy Robinson, Owen Benjamin. These are the voices of, of Amer Americans, middle Americans that have been silenced systematically Oh, time and time and time again. Deplatformed off of all social media. And Steven Crowder held, as he does every year, uh, his anti Oscar party and received a hard strike. And if you don't know what a hard strike is, it's not a, a soft strike on YouTube. You can petition and plead your case. A hard strike is when it's done manually by the person of who, you know, of whom's material you're using. So in this situation, it was more than likely ABC or Disney gave his channel a hard strike. They had 40,000 viewers in his, during his live stream, Oscar party. Wasn't infringing on copyright rules, none of that. And so if you, my point today is that if you wait until you're mad enough to do something about this, to support the voices that you, res that you wanna hear and that you respect, I have no, I have cable no more. My husband as the priest of our home made that decision. He did not want, because whether you watch CNN and these different stations or not, your subscription, your cable subscription is, part of it is going into the pockets of these corporations. So we cut off our cable, done. I don't watch enough TV anyway. I get my news from, from, again, I don't want to call it new media because it's coherent media. I get it from blaze.com. People like Steven Crowder, Glenn Beck, people like that. So if you wait until you're too mad, until you're angry enough, it's going to be too late. There will be no voice. There will be no voice of opposition. Make no mistake, the beast system in which we live hates you. It detests you. If you are not part of the elite, part of these ridiculously wealthy individuals who want to smash the system, smash, the mor smash all forms of morality, if you're not a person who wants moral relativism and your children to be taught that, that transgenderism is just as normal as anything else, if that, if you get, if you wait until you're that angry, it's too late. And when you watch Crowder or anybody that, that you enjoy on YouTube, Nine times out of 10, you're not helping that individual. 
Those videos have already been demonetized. You think YouTube is paying the bills for Steven Crowder? You think YouTube is paying uh, Gavin McInnes' bills? No. The rallying that you saw behind Tommy Robinson when he was unjustly thrown in jail and left for dead, thrown in solitary confinement where his life was at risk, that is where we are 24-7. And if you have any sort of a backbone, then you will go to places like www.tr.news and you will help out Tommy. You'll sign up for Mug Club with Steven Crowder. You'll get your news from these places because that's our voice. That's the voice of the <laughs> Chef Boy RD. They have Chef Boy RD. <laughs> that's the that's the voice against that. These Oscar part the Oscar, you know, every year the Oscars where they sit around and they you know fillet one another over how how brave they are to talk about how stupid Americans are. Our desire to have uh, sovereignty and borders and. It's absolutely disgusting. And their level of hatred for you is pal palpable. It's absolutely palpable. And if you don't support people like Steven Crowder, Gavin McInnes, Owen Benjamin, people like Glenn Beck, people who are out there who have been the targets and continue to be the targets of this elite beast system, if you're not supporting them, then you deserve whatever you get. Because I plan to support them for, for as long as humanly possible until this ship goes down in flames because that's what they want. They want to shut you up. They don't care what you think and they absolutely detest you. Get rid of your cable. If you live in the UK, you don't have to have a cable license. Watch Tommy's new documentary. I love y'all. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.